So I'm super excited we're here today to record a song called November Sunday for the King to celebrate his birthday. November Sunday is about a calm, quiet evening in London and it's about the birth of King Charles. So I think one of the things that the song does really well is paints a very vivid picture of what could have been a very ordinary Sunday night for many people but for the country and for the Commonwealth was really significant. The experience of being a choir member is that you move around quite frequently. What choir provides is a network of women with similar experiences that can support our members when their partners or relatives are far away serving on deployment. We've just moved back to the UK. We've been in the Netherlands for the last couple of years and we were in Cyprus before that. A lot of people think we're one choir. We're actually 70 across the UK and Northern Ireland and around the world, often concentrated where there are British military bases. Uh, and we have nearly 2,000 members across our choir's network. And you can be pretty certain that almost everywhere you move to, there will be a choir nearby and you can sort of have something to look forward to when you move. Choir means so much to me. I've been in so many different camps and if I didn't have those ladies there when I moved to a new camp, I think I would have been totally lost. Oh, there's a lot of good things about the Military Wives Choir. We are a really diverse bunch of ladies from all walks of life. Uh, but one of the brilliant things is that we have this core repertoire. We call it our shared repertoire. So no matter which Military Wives Choir you join around the British forces world, we have a certain set of core songs that we can all access and learn. I really like it. I um, get to meet other people in the same position. We get together every Monday for rehearsals and then some socials and then when we sing at events. It's just the chance to share and uh, with people that understand what you've been through and also I love singing as well. Um, so the social aspect and the support are fantastic. I've made loads of friends, friends that I would now class as family over the years. They are remarkable ladies, it's completely open access. No one has to pass any kind of audition to become a member of these choirs. Despite that, the standards are high and the determination and commitment are extraordinary. And I don't think I've ever conducted a choir which has quite as much fervour as any group of military wives singing together produces. Less, and as you sing this time, just move your faces slightly that way in the phrase huddled round. The benefits of singing are well known and that is core to our ethos as a charity, bringing together women who are impacted by their military connection, whether that's wives, partners, veterans serving, mothers, daughters, sisters. We join women together and build bonds, emotional bonds, through the power of singing. Out in the streets of the still John McLaren is the composer of this beautiful piece and we are extremely grateful that he has trusted us to sing it. Uh, the Military Wives Choir were looking for a song with a royal theme. The, the, the hope and intention is, is that the song will enter the permanent repertoire of many of the choirs in the network and that given it's obviously associated with the King's birthday, we hope it will be performed many years, possibly every year. I'm I'm thinking we just probably We're extremely grateful to Sean Hargreaves, the producer. Uh, he understands the capability of our choirs and um, how we need to arrange voices in order to get the best sound from them. We went down to a place called the Warehouse in South East London, uh, which is a fantastic sounding room, good size of room we could easily get. It was about roughly 100, I think, we recorded. The band of the Household Cavalry were a natural partner for us, having performed with them on previous occasions and also having recorded with them previously. I think we were very lucky to have the opportunity to work with the Household Cavalry Band. It's definitely one of those things I never thought in my lifetime I would get a chance to work with them on a track. I think it's incredible. We're joined here together with Military Wives Choir to make this recording of November Sunday. Normally we would be performing on parades and ceremonial occasions, so it's great to come into the studio, do something a little bit different today, uh, and set all the sounds uh, and get ready to actually record this piece of music. Uh, the Band of the Household Cavalry is incredibly well-travelled. Uh, we go all over the world and we've recently returned uh, from a tour in Canada. Many of the members of the band uh, have performed all over the world, uh, support to troops, uh, troop morale, uh, all over Iraq, Afghanistan, etc.
since the choir are accompanied by the band of the Household Cavalry, the King's personal regiment, uh, we very much hope that they will also play an instrumental version from time to time as well to mark that birthday. The song paints an enormously beautiful picture of London on a grey foggy night but makes it you know, a very you know, lovely romanticised uh, image. Uh, this particular song written by John McLaren uh, is uh, uh, celebrating the birth of our king and it's about the, the day of the birth in practice. And so it explores the whole concept of why it's significant and the nature of young children coming into the world. It has a very beautiful tune, quite simple but very memorable. And it's perfectly obvious from the moment the ladies started working with me today that they like, like singing it. Three years after the end of the war, the euphoria gone, rationing, very depressed times. And it's absolutely clear from the contemporary media accounts that the announcement that that then Princess Elizabeth had given birth to a boy, caused a great outpouring of joy. Today has been a fantastic achievement for the ladies that have come along to sing. They have been able to record the song uh, today and record a music video all in one day, which is a remarkable achievement considering they're amateur singers.